How much plastic ends up in our rivers, and what are the consequences for our health and the environment? Scientists and ordinary citizens of European towns have teamed up to find the answers. Every few months, citizens of Sambuca and other Italian communities visit dozens of sampling sites along riverbanks to find out how clean or how polluted the water is. This citizen science initiative doesn't just provide valuable data, it also raises public environmental awareness. We conduct three kinds of observations. Two are done with chemical reagents, which measure the nitrate and phosphate content. And the third is a visual analysis, which measures the cloudiness of water. The volunteers collect and log plastic litter, a common source of microplastic pollution carried by rivers into seas and the oceans. Other sources, such as urban or industry wastewater, can be indicated by various combinations of chemical pollutants. We take a note of the plastic waste we found at a particular site. We record everything on this paper form and also online using a special mobile app. The data collected by citizen and scientists are studied within a European research project which also uses laboratory instruments to find microplastics in water samples. The water from the river is passed through a paper filter which is then heated in a special instrument up to 900 degrees Celsius. As the filter heats up, different compounds volatilize at different temperatures. The precise scales inside the instrument measure any changes to the sample's weight at each temperature, indicating the microplastics type and weight. We want to identify them in order to find and develop methods of reducing their presence, as it poses a grave threat to all the aquatic fauna and flora, to all the ecosystem. To learn more about biological effects of microplastics, the researchers use so-called microcosms, glass cavettes with microbial life incubated for a certain period under simulated sunlight. Inside these cuvettes, we put microparticles of polystyrene to observe the effects of the interaction of these microparticles with the organic matter. We check what happens when we expose them to the light in order to simulate, as realistically as possible, the conditions of the ocean surface layer which is exposed to solar radiation. The molecular changes inside the microcosms are measured using nuclear magnetic resonance. This allows to better understand the effects of microplastics on biological and chemical processes at the marine surface, a crucial problem now that this new pollutant is being detected across the globe. How much is it that we still don't know about the place and role of plastics in our ecosystem? There's still a lot to be learned. I mean, we're, we're, quanti we're, in the just, we're just at the first part, we're quantifying what goes in there. I mean, we really don't understand where a lot of it ends up. We don't understand what effect it's having on, certainly on fauna, we understand some aspects, but not on the whole biological chemical system that is our aquatic water bodies.